Hi all, I'm Mrs Hencher, Head of Science here at Cleve. I'm going to take you on a short tour of the science department today and introduce you to the team. We have 14 different science um, classrooms up in the department. This is what a typical classroom looks like. Um, you do your theory work in here and then primarily you move to the lab to do any practical work. tour of the science department. Um, you're now going to meet the science team. There's um, quite a few of us, I think there's 15 of us next year all together. Um, you certainly won't see all of us when you uh, start in September. Um, as I said earlier, my name is Mrs Hencher. My specialism is chemistry, but we will all teach you bits of chemistry, biology and physics throughout your time at Cleve. Um, my summer challenge for you is to make yourselves a lava lamp. All you'll need is some oil, some water, and an effervescent tablet such as Alka-Seltzer. You can research how to do this on the internet, and it would be great if you could film it and bring us in um, the video to show us. If you want to add a little bit of colour, just pop some food colouring in, um, and it will brighten it all up a little bit. Good luck, bye. My name's Mrs Hawley, and I'm a science teacher at Cleve School, and my specialism is biology. So with that in mind, I've set you a challenge for the summer holiday. Can you identify what this is? Do you know what this is? Well, if you do, well done. This is Daisy and I've got a beech tree behind me, but there's so many other things growing in my garden. I wonder what's growing in yours. Your challenge this summer is to see if you can find and identify 10 different species in your garden. Maybe draw a picture and write down the name of them. We'd love to see it when we get back to see you in September. It's nice to meet you, have a great holiday. My name is Miss Willie and I teach chemistry at Cleve School. That means I like blowing things up. Now I've been told to give you a bit of a challenge for the summer. I'm going to show you a magic trick in a moment and I want you to see if you can make a link between Wingardium Leviosa and fly in a hot air balloon. So have a lovely summer and look forward to seeing you in September. Wingardium Leviosa or sometimes called the flying tea bag. Time it just right. Guardian Leviosa. Hello, my name is Mrs. Jones, and I'm the head of physics at the science department of Cleve School. That means I deal with a branch of science that involves space, engineering, and electricity. However, what I'd like you to do over the summer, if you're able to, is to go for a walk and take a photo, or even better, make a drawing of an animal or a bird that you see. You could even maybe go to a wildlife park, which would be wonderful. Looking forward to seeing you in September. Thank you and goodbye. Hi, Year 6, soon to be Year 7. My name is Mrs. Watt, uh, one of the science teachers at Cleve School. My specialism is chemistry. So over the summer, I'd really like you to have a go at making some salt crystals, okay? And to do that, all you're gonna need is some salt, some water, spoon, and a clean jar, and a bit of string. Now, I'd be really interested to see who can make the biggest, who can make the ones which are the most attractive in terms of their colour or their shape, okay? And I can't wait to hear about it when we meet you in September. So have a lovely summer and I will see you all soon. Hello, my name is Mr Talbot. I am a science teacher at Cleve School and now I'm going to show you how to model a solar eclipse using some simple household equipment. You will need for this experiment a piece of cardboard tube, uh, a torch that you can fit into the end, a piece of wood and a ball which you can attach it to. So this experiment is best done in a darkened room. You can do it against a piece of blank wall or you can do it against a piece of paper which you could attach to the back of a chair. 
All you need to do is take your cardboard tube, rest it on the top of a table or chair at the right height, take your torch, shine the torch down the cardboard tube so that we get a nice disc appearing on the paper or the wall. You take your ball on the stick and you can move the ball between the tube and the paper and you can model a solar eclipse as if the moon was moving between the sun and the earth and you can even see during the full eclipse the corona which is the outline of the sun which is being blocked out by the moon. Hello Year 6s, my name is Miss Kendry and my specialism is biology and I work in the science department at Cleve School. Over the summer um, I'd like you to try a challenge for me. I wonder if you could try and build a model atom. Everything around you is made of atoms. Some are big and some are small. If you're looking to make it easy, you might like to look up lithium atoms and see what their structure is. See if you can find things around the house to build one out of. You'll need different spherical objects. Um, your model atom could be a biscuit or a decorated cake, or it could be a mobile made out of card um, and buttons or something like that. So there's lots of different ways that you could try and make an atom. There are three main parts, protons, neutrons and electrons. If you want a bit more of a challenge, you might like to make a carbon atom. This atom's much bigger and it's important because we're all carbon-based life forms. So you are based on carbon atoms. So there's lots of carbon in your body. Um, I hope you get on with the challenge well. Don't forget to take a picture of it. Hi, this is Mr. Myrams. I'm a chemistry teacher. And my challenge for you over the holidays is to try and take a picture of the phases of the moon. A bonus challenge is if you can do this during the day. Hello, young scientists. My name is Mr. Squire, uh, and like you, I'm going to be new to Cleve School in September. I'm going to be teaching biology, chemistry, and physics up to GCSE, and then beyond GCSE at A level, I focus mostly on the biology. Now, you've caught me at a great minute. I'm just doing a fantastic science experiment in the garden. If you like marshmallows, like I love marshmallows, you will absolutely adore this. Here we go. This is my solar cooker, and I am melting marshmallows, can you believe it, on top of biscuits to make the most beautiful, crumbly, sweet snack. Have a look on the internet, see if you can do this, and have a great little challenge for you over the summer. Look forward to seeing you all in September. Have an amazing break. Hello, Year 6 students. My name is Mrs Wade. I'm one of the science teachers at Cleve School, and I specialise in physics. I'm going to ask you for this summer to do a challenge using ice cubes. It's really simple. All I want you to do is find as many different methods as you can to melt the ice cube. You can ask friends, family for ideas, maybe look on the internet and do a little bit of research, or just try and find out different ways of doing it. And then once you've got your different methods, I want you to try and work out which one of your methods is the fastest way to melt the ice cube. If you can make a video, take some pictures, write down what you find, that would be great so you can talk about it in September with your classmates. Hi, I'm Miss Vaughan and I'm a science teacher at Cleve specialising in biology. My challenge for you is to find a local river or stream and try and identify some of the organisms within it. It could be a plant or an animal. Just take a look and see what you can find. And if you aren't sure what you found, have a look on the Freshwater Habitats Trust website to see if you can identify it. I hope you have a great summer and I look forward to meeting you all in September. Hello Year 6, my name is Miss Reddington and my specialism is biology. Over the summer holidays, I would like to set you a challenge to investigate dissolving and to make a rainbow. Now all you're going to need to do for this, get to this is a pack of Skittles, a plate and some water. You can use cold, warm and hot water and you can investigate how quickly the rainbow appears using those. Good luck and see you in September. Hello Year 6, uh, my name is Miss Carruthers and I'm Head of Biology here at Cleve. My task for you for the summer is to do something that scientists love to do, which is changing the colour of things. So you're going to have a go at taking a plant that has really good tubes through it. 
and one of the best is celery. Now the tubes are actually called xylem vessels and they pull water through the plant. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna color water by adding about four or five drops of food coloring. And then we're gonna put, cut off the bottom inch of the plant and then we're gonna put it in the water. We're then gonna leave it for a few hours and what you will find is the color gets pulled through the plant and will make the top of the plant start to change color. You can do this with flowers too, but please don't start picking flowers in your parents' garden, especially things like lilies and orchids. I can imagine they would prefer stay in place. With any flower, once you've dyed it, bear in mind that it will stain anything that it touches. So if you've got a family member who is wearing beautiful summer whites, um, please don't let the flowers go anywhere near them because it will give them beautiful coloured patches um, and I'm imagining they don't want to be dyed. Um, I couldn't find celery, so I did cabbage. So I have light cabbage and dark cabbage. Um, it is highly satisfying and highly recommended and very, very simple to do. If you want to know more about it, just Google celery and food dye and you'll find out all the experiments that you can do with it. There is one where you make a rainbow and that's the one where in a moment you will see um, a slide which will show you the beautiful celery rainbow. We are very much looking forward to seeing you in September. I hope you have an amazing summer full of brilliant science experiments and lots of bonding with your family. Um, take care. Hello, I'm Miss Knott and I teach science at Clean. My specialism is physics. Now why did I get into physics? I was probably about your age when I used to think about how big is the universe? Why does time only go forwards and not backwards? And lots of other stuff that used to make my head hurt. Actually, that stuff still makes my head hurt. So you might be wondering, why she got an egg in her hand? This is to do with my summer challenge, should you choose to accept it. So my challenge is, how do you make an egg, egg bounce? Uh, I hope you have better luck than that. Anyway, have a lovely summer and I look forward to meeting you in September. Hello Year 6, welcome to Cleve School. My name is Mr McGarry and I like biology and chemistry. On the left you can see a picture of DNA. Over the summer I would like you to make a model of it using whatever resources you can get your hands on. Uh, be lovely if you take a picture of it and show me in September. Can't wait, can't wait to meet you.